hey, grand dude. Hey, grand dude. Written by Paul McCartney. Illustrated by Katherine Durst. Lucy and Tom and M and Bob were spending the weekend with their grand dude. Today was one of those days when nothing felt quite right. It was gray and drizzly, and everybody was grumpy and too bored to be bothered. Cheer up, chillers, said Grand Dude, and he pulled out a pile of postcards from the back of his pocket of his trousers. Look at these. Anne picked out a postcard of a sandy beach and sparkling blue waters. I wish I could go there, Grand Dude, she said. Well, let's see what we can do. Grand Dude reached into his coat pocket and took out a shiny compass. He gave the compass a rub and waved it over the postcard. The needle started spinning round and round. See the compass needle spin? Let the magic fun begin. Then a flash of magic. Zing, bang, sizzle, everything changed. The children were standing on a golden beach with little waves tickling their toes. The water felt beautifully cool. We're on the beach from the postcard, Bob laughed as he splashed in the sea. But the magic compass hadn't finished yet. Huge flying fish lipped from the sea. Grand dude, they called. It's a school flying fish, said Grand dude. Come on, chillers, let's go for a ride. A school, whispered Lucy. I hope we don't have to do homework. They skimmed across the shimmering blue waves on the backs of flying fish before coming to rest again on the hot sand. They built sand castles and they lay beneath a coconut tree eating ice cream. The memory of their gray, grumpy day was completely washed away and they were perfectly happy until, ouch, cried Bob, a little crab scuttered across the beach. That crab pinched my toe. Oh no, suddenly lots of little crabs were scurrying out of the sea, heading straight towards Grand Dude and the children. Hey, Grand Dude, said Em, can we go somewhere a little less uh, pinchy? Yes, I think we better, said Grand Dude. He quickly waved the magic compass on another postcard. This one had a picture of a cowboy. See the compass needle spin. Let the magic fun begin. The magic flash and sparkled and once again, zing, bang, sizzle, everything changed. Grand Dude and the children found themselves on a desert, deserted valley with spiky green cactuses. A cowboy galloped towards them in a beautiful spotted horse. Hey, Grand Dude, called the cowboy, waving his hat in the air. Wow, what a handsome Appaloosa, said Grand Dude, admiring the horse. Appaloosa, asked him. No, it's kind of horse it is. It has nothing to do with me, said Lucy. Grand Dude gave a whistle and five more horses came galloping up and he helped each of the children onto a horse. They raced together through the valley. Wee, cried Bob. Faster, yelled Lucy. But what's that cloud of dust out on the horizon? Oh no, a herd of wild buffalo was rushing straight towards them. The canyon echoed with the sound of a hundred hoofs. Before they could ride to safety, Tom's horse reared up and tumbled, and he tumbled to the ground. Hold on, Tom, cried Grand Dude, snatching a rope from the cowboy's saddle. With a twirl, he lassoed Tom and hauled him onto this, his horse. Ride, chillers, cried Grand Dude, as fast as you can. They cleared the stampede just in time. Hey, Grand Dude, panted Tom. Perhaps we could go somewhere a little less stampedy? Yes, good idea, said Grand Dude. And I think I need to cool down. Once again, he whipped the magic compass and waved it over the postcard. See the compass needle spin. Let the magic fun begin. Before the children could see the picture, the magic sparkled and flashed. And in a blink of an eye, Zing, bang, sizzle, everything changed. They found themselves on a high hill in the sun, afternoon sun. 
The children laughed as they rolled in the sweet-smelling flowers that seemed to stretch forever. Grand Dude pulled his trusty guitar and began to strum a song. Hey, Grand Dude, mooed some friendly cows, their bells tinkling along the tune. Grand Dude drew a small telescope from his pocket and took turns looking at the snow-capped peaks, but soon they heard a rumbling sound. Oh no, hey Grand Dude, look, yelled Lucy as she peered through the telescope. A huge wall of snow was sliding down from the mountain above. Avalanche, quick chillers, said Grand Dude, jump. Just before the wave of snow reached them, Grand Dude and the children leapt onto one of the cows. Up, up, cow, up, Grand Dude cried. Magic swirl from the compass, lifting them higher and higher off the ground selling them to safety through the sky and the sea of snow rushing beneath them. Swiss cows are especially good flyers, said Grand Dude. Now, riding and flying the cow was lots of fun, but it had been a very long day. Hey, Grand Dude, said Lucy with a yawn. Maybe we could go somewhere a little more sleepy, said Grand Dude with a chuckle. That sounds like a very good idea. This time, instead of a postcard, Grand Dude pulled out of a a photograph of his own house from his pocket. Magic compass, one more spin. It's time for bedtime to begin. He waved his compass over it, making a magic sparkle and spin, and just like that, zing, bang, sizzle, they were all back to Granddad, the Grand Dude's living room, and the compass hadn't finished yet. With a final flash of magic, the children were changed and ready for bed. Their teeth brushed and their faces washed and they were all tucked in tight. And in five minutes, Tom and Bob and Lucy and him were fast asleep. Dreaming of their next adventures. See the compass needle spin. Let the magic fun begin. Good night, Grand Dude. This was a very fun story. There is no such thing as a magic compass, but this story teaches us about using our imagination. The kids got ideas from postcards of where they could imagine that they were visiting. We can get ideas from books and play pretend, from pictures and play pretend. Just like these kids, the adventure is before us. We can go to the beach and splash in the water. Often beaches have salt water. We can go to a desert where there are cactus. A, cac a group of cactus is called a cacti. That's the plural for cactus. They are plants that do not need a lot of water and can survive dry and hot temperatures. We learn some new words like stampede stampede can happen with animals when they were all running very fast in a group. We learn the word avalanche. Avalanche is when a snow breaks away from a mountain and slides down the mountain very fast. It's a very dangerous situation. I want you to think of a good place for you to visit. Where is your next adventure going to begin?